Hi YouTube, it's me, the Monster Player. Today is March 5th, 2017. I'll show you what I created earlier this week. It took me about an hour and a half to make, start to finish. And I'm giving you a heads up on this coming Friday of the Science Division of SPD, which is the Cat Makes Department. I'm not going to tell you until Friday of the other two props I need on the very same night that I made these things. These are the Vortex Spinners for science and medical purposes. This is made out of a container full of 380 pieces of bubblegum. And this is all homemade. 100% cardboard, foam board, duct tape, silver spray paint, red spray paint, screw, pinner's tape, and more computer paper. The difference is this is the medium one that holds 12 small cylinders, while this bad boy here holds nine big ones. I spray painted blue. Let's see here. I painted red to make the difference. But I only hold together with cardboard on each side. It's very hard to see. But it is there. I made a pipe made out of 100% of both computer paper and painter's tape. I measured the inside. I need at least about an inch to a half an inch lip of both. So I made a hole on the bottom. I can see what the duct tape is at. I split the tubing, which I made of paper, underneath it, and I taped that and hot glue together on the bottom for each vortex spinner. That's what these are homemade vortex spinners for science and medical reasons and purposes. But the difference is not just the size, and the inside is different colors. This one can just easily be snapped on, like so. And this one is just a little opening up perfectly. Two tier approach. And what it holds together um, right behind it is duct tape and staples as well as some hot glue. Same kind of tubing that holds the red disc for the small tubes together. And the switches. It's made out of cardboard, both of them. I use duct tape, some spray paint, and I use a brass fastener. And then I cover the brass fasteners up with duct, I mean not duct tape, but electric tape. So, when I start flicking these switches, I add some sound effects, which I do have some spinning sound effects somewhere in my files my external drive to add the depth and effects of actually working with these kind of props. The full four props I've made, I'll show you today and on Friday, it took me about total time, not just five, six of hot glue and lots of duct tape and two sheets of computer paper. It took me about three and a half hours for total time for four props. Pretty neat. Pretty um, <laughs> long if you ask me, but yeah, it's cool though. Anyways, these are the homemade Vortex spinners which I created on the very same day I made the props that I'm going to show you on Friday, like I said before. And it's pretty neat. I'm going to add on to my geek playlist, of course. Of course, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd or a geek because you have some knowledge on your favorite comic books, TV shows, or not, what have you. I admit, I'm too, I'm a geek and a nerd that I admit to, and I'm pretty darn proud of it too. Anyways, that's about this is the end of this video. On Team more Player, I'm do sub sub, give me a shot, Sean Paul Quest Only. I do three videos every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you're a subscriber and this 
Thank you for subscribing. If not, what you do, hit that button. I thank you for watching. I do sub sub. Be sure leave. I also do shout request. Be sure to leave the shout request the screen below in any of my videos. You can follow me on Facebook and on Page. I'll pull the link that's also on the screen below. And these are my homemade large and small vortex spinners for science and medical purposes. Later.